This video shows an extract of an audit where the auditor is following audit trails based upon performance to the process failure mode and effect analysis and the control plan. Watch this video to see whether the auditor is undertaking an effective audit. So I see one of the issues looking at your internal performance data in this printing area uh, is visual appearance. And I think I've, I've seen in the FMEA that this is due to um, offset or printing misfits. Yes. So could you explain a little bit about what this would look like from a product perspective? So we print multi-layer decors and this means the first and the second and the third layer have to fit together. Right, okay. And if you have there an offset inside, you, there will be on the end product a visible misfit. Okay, and how is this detected? This, how is, this is detected by our uh, camera inspection system. Right, okay. And what I want to see is what are you doing to try and reduce the risk of that offset? So if you could take me and show me the process, I can that show would you. be great. I can show you. Okay. So, uh, this printing misfit then, can you show me from a part perspective how you ensure the part is located correctly on the machine? I can as well. So, look, we have here printed camera marks, here on this corner and as well in this corner. They're going to be recognized from the camera system. And if there's something is not okay, the machine reacts on this. Okay, so could you show me that then, of course. please? So the first is we have here a three-point alignment. Right. And then, now at the moment the camera recognizes the position of the, printed, of the printed points, what I mentioned. Right. And if here is something not okay, the machine himself make a correction here with the table and also with the screen frame. Both right. are variable okay. and they bring it in the best position. Yeah, and what's the significance of the 80%? So the recognition now is 80% correct and the machine changed it to almost 100%. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, now that's a, a good system and I do see that reflected in your FMEA and mm -hmm. control plan. What about the calibration or verification of the camera itself? Also as well, annually we got the visit from the, from the German supplier, a technician comes here and checks the complete system. Right, and can have you any records of that? In the office, there is the last visit is recorded there. Okay, so we'll have a look at the last visit report mm -hmm. then. But no, thank you for that, that's very clear. So, the key learning points. In undertaking any IETF 16949 audit, one of the essential competences of an auditor is to audit the effective deployment of the process failure mode and effect analysis and the control plan, but also focused on performance. So in this video, we saw the auditor following audit trails from the performance data, which is good. And also understanding by being on the shop floor, potential causes of failure and then what the organization was doing to control the risk by actions for prevention or actions for detection. The good thing is that the auditor was talking to people within the organization and asking them to show the process. So in this case, the alignment of the part using the camera system which is always a good way of going about auditing, that we should observe the process being undertaken. And then from the audit, using the FMEA and the control plan, then the auditor should follow the appropriate audit trails. In this case, following the audit trails related to calibration and the related calibration records. So let's summarize. In any IETF 16949 audit, it is essential that the auditor uses performance data. And then when they're auditing within the manufacturing process, they use that performance data to help prioritize audit trails 
using the process failure mode and effect analysis and the control plan. And when in production, the auditor should observe the processes running and then from that capture information and follow any relevant audit trails.